Hi everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to talk about using master slides in Storyline 360 uh, and this also applies to Storylines 2 and 1 if you're using those. Now the beauty of using master slides in your project is they allow you to apply a consistent layout and design and maybe reusing the same element multiple times without having to do that to every single slide. You can do it on master slides and do it once and it also then makes it easier when you want to make a change, you're not changing multiple slides. So to get to the slide masters we need to go to the view tab and then slide master and what you see here is a set of master slides that we have with uh, with our project so we have a slide at the top which is our like our top kind of controlling slide and anything applied to this slide will be applied to our layout slides underneath and if you hover over those particular layouts you can see the type of slide that it is and, and how many times it might be used in the project so there's got a couple of content slides at the top a couple of slides to do with quizzing uh, and then just a blank slide which is the one I've got in my project at the moment so any, like I said anything that goes onto this top master slide will be applied uh, to the ones underneath so if I just quickly go and insert a picture say a little icon and I might move it up into the top corner here uh, you'll see that that little book icon has been applied to every single layout so I've only had to put that on once now another thing with your master slides is where you have text placeholders or image placeholders in the master slides they show you how much space that particular item is going to take up. So here my title is actually going to run from pretty much from one side of the slide to another. But now that I've put an object in that corner, I probably don't want the total width of my title area to be that wide. So if I click on the edge of the box there and I can drag it back to the left and now my title is only going to take up this much space. And I'd need to do that to the, the different layout slides underneath and so on and so on. Now, with our layout slides, anything that we apply to one of those, whether it be an image or a button or something like that, it will only be applied to this layout. So, if, say this time I just go and insert a shape, and I'll just pop the little shape uh, into this corner of the, the slide, you'll see that it's only on this particular layout and not any of the others. So, you can have different, uh, say, backgrounds or images or uh, objects on different layouts uh, or you can have it across uh, the complete uh, set of master slides. Now you can also insert additional layout slides if you wanted to create yourself a few more layouts you can in and insert placeholders. You can insert another set of master slides so if I click on a, uh, the new master slide set I now have two sets of master slides so you could use that potentially to have maybe different parts of a course themed differently if you wanted to um, and keep adding more set more and more sets depending on on your particular project you can also if you import uh, slides from PowerPoint or from other storyline projects if they have master slides set up they'll also be imported and you'll see uh, additional sets of master slides show up in your project which can be really handy if you've done say a storyboard in PowerPoint and you import it in uh, and you set up your master slides there that will come in as well master slides are good to use in conjunction with your color and font themes so setting particular colors for your course or the font that's used uh, they, those three things kind of all work in conjunction with one another so I've got my uh, couple of sets of master slides and when I'm done I can close the master view now actually one thing before I leave the master slide area there are is a trigger panel you can have layers on master slides some people put navigation in their master slide so you can have jump to uh, whether it be on buttons or objects so you've got lots of things they have the same properties as, as a regular slide so now I'll, I'll close down the master view and I'll go back to slide view and you'll see because I've used the, this particular blank slide that's the one that had the, the, the two icons on it um, and if I go to the slides tab and I want to insert a new layout uh, into my course into a new slide into my course I will see all of the different master slides that I've got set up which I can then choose one of those to insert and I've got those the the icons or the pictures they're applied to onto the slide every time I add it in. So I only have to um, 
insert the image once and then it's right across my whole project. I can if I insert the wrong the wrong layout into a uh, into my project on the slide itself if I right click I can go to the apply layout and choose a different layout and, and have something else in the project instead. And the great thing about using the master slides uh, like I said at the beginning was that if something changed and you needed to change an image or an object uh, you can go back into the view tab and slide master and maybe change change this icon out to be something else and now when I close down my preview it's reflected in the slide layout as well so I that would come right across my whole course I'd only have to do it once rather than do that on every individual slide and when you're looking at a slide with objects in a slide master they also can't be selected from the slide level because they're on that master slide so that's it for this tutorial that's using master slides like I said good to use in conjunction with color and font themes but certainly great way to introduce some consistency in terms of layout and slide design across your whole project and certainly makes life a lot easier when you have to make a change down the track to the course.